everybody. How are we doing today? This is Eric from Q2C VR Gamer, and we are back and we are in Virtuoso. This is a music creation game that is launching uh, on the Quest 2 platform on March 10th. And uh, this is a really, really cool looking game. This is a game where you can actually go in, you have different types of instruments, and you can create your own music. Uh, you can then record that music, and if you choose to, you can share it with friends. Or you can share it on public forums as well. Uh, so this is a really, really amazing music tool where I think there's going to be a lot of creative people uh, making a lot of amazing music in here. And uh, as you'll see uh, in this playthrough, the sky is the limit with what you can do in here. Uh, it's really amazing. This is one of the best um, music creation games I've ever seen. Uh, I'm really excited for it, and I think people are really going to enjoy it. Okay, let's jump in. We'll do the quick tutorial here, and then we'll jump in and we'll start creating some music and see what we uh, see what we can do. Yeah, so you can change the sounds on this board depending on the button presses that you use on the controller. So if you use the grip button, it makes a certain sound. If you use the trigger, it makes a certain sound. Or if you use the A button, it makes a certain sound. And then there's a light that corresponds, a uh, color that corresponds with whatever you pressed. A button, trigger, grip. All right, guys, so in the control board, you can also change what type of sound comes out of the control board. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different sounds. Uh, Canada Trip, Soft Pulse, Z Harp, Nature's Best, Xylo, Lo-Fi, uh, Chew Bass, Dark Perk, Lush Lead, Old Organ, Jammy, Super Saw, Replicant, 80s, Wampit. Let's try Wampit. Very neat, very neat. Again, uh, guys, I am not musically inclined at all, so this is going to be a little bit uh, away, uh, out of my comfort zone here, but I'm, I'm going to do my best for you. Let's move on. Let's check out a different instrument. Nice. That last sound. Sweet. When you've found some sounds that you like, you can pull out pads from the main panel by pointing at them with your laser and using the grip button. Try extracting a few pads and arrange them into your own little drum kit. All right, guys, so basically with the drum kit or what they call the M-pads, you get to grab and build your own drum set um, from whatever you want. So if you want two snares, you want two basses, you want two toms, you want three toms, you can build your kit however you like, which is completely amazing. I mean, you could take your favorite drummer's you know, drum set and, and pretty much recreate it uh, in here and, and play drums just like, uh, just like they would have. So let's uh, let's grab some stuff and I'll show you how you would place it. Uh, so far, we put a bass drum, we put two snares, and we just put a hi hat. We'll put a ride right next to it, right here. Again, I'm not a drummer, never been a drummer, so I have no idea if these are proper placements for these things. I'm just putting them where I want to put them. Um, let's put a tom somewhere about right here. Oh, now it's down here. Right over here. What do you think? Move this out of the way a little bit. How about a crash? Nice. Uh, let's see. Do we have a ride? We don't have a ride yet. Oh, come with me. Nice. It's so easy to manipulate everything. It's so great. I mean, just creating this is so is so easy. Um, boop, boop, boom. Ooh, an effect. What's the effect? Oh, cowbell. Who doesn't need more cowbell? Uh, and what else do we have? Car door, huh? What's car door? Okay, car door. All right. Let's arrange these in a way that we can get to them easy. All right. So 
So I played this game during Steam's Next Fest, and uh, I was extremely impressed by it. The drum kit was one of the ones that I could test, and it was the best drumming experience I had in virtual reality. It was better than any drum game that I've played so far, and I think I've pretty much played them all. Uh, so as you can see with this video, the drums sound great. And the contact from your controller to the drums is perfect. The, con the tracking on it, I mean, it's one-to-one. -one. When I feel like I should be hitting it, the drum is reacting, which is fantastic. This is just another great thing you can do. You, they, they call this the looper, and basically this is a sound that you can loop, you can record and loop it throughout your play. So if you want to record like just a ba bass drum beat, so you can you're free to play other you know other other drums, and you just have that one drum beat going, you can do that. You can record and then loop it so it'll play throughout the entire thing. Let's check this out. So hit to start recording. Guys, now we have a couple of different instruments uh, turned on. So we've got our loop running with our drum. And now we can basically play some other music with that. So that is so cool. I mean, as you can see, I have zero musical talent, <laughs> so that didn't sound great. But imagine what you could create if you did have some musical talent, or you could just get in here and have a ball, which I'm having. It doesn't really matter whether, you know, I think I'm any good at this or not, uh, but uh, it's just fun doing it, and it sounds so cool. And again, uh, you can just create whatever you want in here. Um, this is just a small sample of what you can do. Let's move on and see what else we got. Great so this work. is your board here that you can pretty much check everything out at. You, this is where all your tools are, your looper, your microphone, all your instruments. Your, you have a microphone, organ, M pads, which are the, which are the drums, the uh, the wave harp, uh, cluster, wave min. I'm not sure exactly what that is. The board, which is the uh, the synthesi synthesizer um, panel. And then you have down here at the bottom, you have tape recorder and you have song library. So these are where you're going to do your recordings on. And the song library is kind of a neat thing. <clears throat> Eventually, when everybody has access to this, you're going to see content in here that people are creating. So you can go in here, you can um, you can create music and you can save it into here. You can share your songs from here um, and uh, to other people. And then you're going to have a community that's going to have songs that are created that you can go into and listen to and create for. Um, so I can see that there's going to be a lot of creation here. A lot of, uh, a lot of creative, interesting people are going to be uh, putting a lot of stuff in here. So this is going to be a cool tool. <clears throat> Even if you just want to get in and come in and just listen to some music, um, this is going to be really neat. All right, let's go back to the menu. So the user interface is really easy to use. Everything has been super simple so far. They do have a complete tutorial, which uh, you know I walked through um, a little bit in the beginning, uh, but it's really easy to navigate everything. Um, and basically you can get back to it at any time. So if there's one point part that you didn't understand, say the recording or the song sharing part, you can get back to the tutorial anytime and check it out. Um, let's check out the, uh, the wave harp. The W harp, or I believe what is called the wave harp. Uh, and um, so the tempo sync right here, you see right here on the bottom. Basically what this is doing is you see, um, you see these little uh, blue dots on the controller. It's actually rumbling to the beat on the controller. And you can, sl you can have the beat go as slow or as fast as you want. Right now it's on one quarter. So it's, as you can see, it's very slow beat as it pulsates. And if I want it to go faster, 
a little bit faster. Still a little faster. So I can touch these things on the beat. And it just gives you a tempo to go with, which is kind of nice. Or you can have it completely off if you choose. And again, you have sound effects just like you did with um, with you know with uh, anything else. And it's going to change how it sounds. Lo-fi, that's cool. Let's check something else out. Uh, let's try Wave Min. Wow, that's super trippy. What? Super weird, man. This thing is so weird. The sounds you can make are crazy, though. So I can see you just, like, recording parts of this, and then, you know, recording parts of the drum, and then recording parts of the wave harp, and then putting them all together to make a, you know, make, make a piece of music. I mean, this is going to be so amazing. And you know what I just noticed? You see these pieces of, like, whatever this is, like, floating in the air? They actually change with the music, which I didn't realize that. And uh, the, the speakers kind of, like, vibrate, which just gives it a cool effect. Over here, same thing. Very cool. Let's try, let's try another instrument. Uh, waveboard. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Cluster? Hmm, well, that's a wave harp. How about cluster? Get rid of the wave harp. All right, this is the cluster. cool man you can see that with a beat with that behind it you can see how you can really create this music uh, another amazing instrument on here um let's see what else they've got uh let's just look at the organ i assume that's gonna be oh, pretty cool So let me just say that I'm sure that you can recreate all these sounds inside of any type of mixing board that you would find outside of virtual reality. There's nothing new here, but 
the way you're manipulating this inside of virtual reality is new here. And this is amazing. This is the way that people should be creating music. Uh, if you're going to do this type of music, synthesized music, virtual reality is the way to do it, man, because it's the way you can manipulate everything. The way you can create with this is amazing. Um, the interface of just being able to put your controller inside, you know, one of these objects and then turn it in different directions to create different sounds. is one of the cooler ones man i thought the organ was going to be pretty straightforward that is one of the cooler ones i've done so far man i love that one um all right let's take a look uh what else do we got all right let's check out the microphone real quick looks like you have basically um a microphone you can grab and uh, i can see the input going off already hello yeah i am definitely not gonna sing but you can hear the reverberation and uh, it sounds really cool. It looks like you can change the reverberation. That's really cool. Huh. Now batting first baseman for the New York Yankees, Don Mattingly. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. All right, this is pretty cool. I definitely not going to sing for you guys. Sorry, that's not going to happen. But um, you can see where you can, you know, you can go with this, man. You're going to be able to create every facet of music, whether it be instruments or singing or whatever. Um, again, just another great tool. Uh, really impressed. All right, let's move on. Mic drop. Mic drop. Uh, you can't. You can't drop the mic. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just looking at the, the user interface now and the control board, and you do have different things um, to, to change in here. Um, you can change your background. Uh, you can change the, the controls and the tilt uh, of the controls. You can change uh, the lasers that come out of the drumsticks. Uh, looks like you have different environments you can change. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's like little mushroom dudes over there having a fire. Nice. All right, that was one we were just in. Just playing, man. If you just want to be in an environment that's uh, playing, you can do that. And... All right, guys, I think that's it for me. Uh, this is Virtuoso. Uh, releases March 10th. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, again, I am not a creative person in any way musically at all, uh, but I appreciate music, and I love music, and uh, I'm extremely excited for this game. I had a ball doing this. Again, I'm not good at music, but I had fun in here doing what I was doing uh, because I did sound like I was creating some good music. Uh, even the drums, which I am not a good drummer, it felt like I was playing drums and it sounded pretty good. Um, so I could see where you could really have fun with this, even if you're not a musically uh, creative person. If you are a musically creative person, you have to have this game because there's so much you can do in here. There's so much you can create. Um, and I, I can't wait to see what the community does and, and creates in here because you're going to be able to get in here and just listen to people's creations, which is going to be another great tool. And you're going to be able to get your own creations out there to everybody. So Virtuoso releasing March 10th on the, uh, on the quest Two, and, uh, definitely go check it out. Uh, I'm really, really happy with this game. Thanks again to the developers and, uh, fast travel games for providing us access to, uh, to the game. And, uh, guys get in here, create some music. It's going to be amazing. All right, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell, because if you don't hit the bell, you don't know when we go live. You don't know when we create new content. There's the bell. See you later, guys. Take it easy.